I'm Dr. Kartiyaini, the medical superintendent of Zamindar Microsurgical Eye Center at Kalyan Nagar and Jai Bharat Nagar. I take care of quality at our two centers. And I'm also a comprehensive ophthalmologist here. Today, I will answer some of the common queries most parents have about eye care in children. Technology has been a boon, but it also has many disadvantages with it. Children these days use tech digital devices for many reasons, be it for recreation, learning something new, to do some homework. They use it very comfortably without you know, thinking about it. Whereas we adults may sometimes struggle to understand how our new phone works. Digital devices definitely have many advantages, but we also know the harmful effects of excess use of screen. So this has to be limited. What is the safe screen time for children, many parents ask. I would say one hour in a day is good enough and also adequate distance has to be maintained between the device and the eyes. Coming to the next point, outdoor activities and sunlight exposure. How important is this? Children, some of them these days, confine themselves indoors due to various reasons. Sunlight exposure and outdoor activities enhance physical health and mental health, also important for eye health. Sunlight, we all know, is important for vitamin D. This is very good for our eyes to keep them healthy. Also, studies have shown that sunlight exposure slows down progression of myopia or short sight and also to an extent prevents it. The next topic I would want to talk about is glasses. Glasses are prescribed in children usually for constant wear. Why? Because their focusing power or the focusing system is defective. So this helps them see clearly. If they are not worn regularly, it may cause image blur, eye strain. This may cause them to strain their eyes, rub their eyes, frequent itching. This in turn leads to infections. It may even cause some serious conditions like keratoconus. So it is important that glasses are worn regularly in children. And some children who have high myopia may sometimes become withdrawn and their academic performance in school may dip down. Also, another question that I would want to touch upon is, some parents ask, Doctor, will any particular diet help my child overcome this glass number? Will it keep their eyes healthy? Will their eyesight improve? Well, unfortunately, the answer is no. But I always tell them, a diet rich in vitamin A, which includes all the brightly colored fruits and vegetables is important for them. I tell children, eat more of the brightly colored fruits and vegetables every day. With this, I conclude and I also like to thank Dr. Circle for giving me this opportunity. Thank you.